Hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. You know, minor pentatonic is probably the most widely used scale across most genres of music, as well as it's probably one of the first scales most people start off with on their guitar journey. Gets you out of just using pentatonic in the same key as the song. So it's kind of like a pentatonic trick. Pentatonic, penta meaning five, minor pentatonic, those five notes, the intervals are root, flat third, fourth, fifth, and flat seventh. Doing unique things with it, playing it over chords that you wouldn't normally think would work and using different key centers and stuff. And there's a ton of different things you could do in this vein. Let me give you one. For instance, let's say you have a G major seventh chord. Right, no matter where you're playing it, G major, major sevenths are very sweet and jazzy. You normally wouldn't associate the dark minor pentatonic scale with it, but you could find some that will work and give you some really cool sounds. For instance, for this G major seventh, so when you're playing a major seventh chord, try playing the minor pentatonic scale that's up a major third in that key. And it sounds really interesting, and here's why. So we're in the key of G major, right? A third. The major third of G, or the third of G, is a B. So play B minor pentatonic over that G major seventh chord, and you get some, and you get some really interesting sounds. some really interesting sounds and here's why that works and you could find stuff like this tons of stuff like that out there if you kind of just kind of peel back the onion a little bit if you're in the key of G major those notes are G A B C D e, E F sharp G right now B minor pentatonic is B D E F sharp and A so if you play the notes in a B minor pentatonic scale and relate them back to G major, right? You're adding the third, you're adding the fifth, the sixth, the major seventh, and the ninth, right? The ninth in the key of G is, or the second is at A. And that's, that's a great note, right? And over that major seventh chord, or the sixth, or give you some really, Right? And give you some really interesting sounds. Again, there's tons of stuff out there like that, and that's just one of them. My point is that you want to kind of look for these different unique ways to, to use minor pentatonic, other than your standard just over all the chords in minor key, to get some really cool sounds, to pull your playing outside the box, to give you some different colorful notes to use, and have a lot of fun. If you have a second, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep the content coming. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you like this lesson and let me know what else you'd like to learn and what other lessons you'd like to see. And hey, um, click the like button. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps also. And again, we so appreciate it. And if you want some more cool things you could do lead guitar wise, um, click on the link below in the YouTube description box. I'll send you a free video lesson and an ebook. And in the video lesson, I'll show you all kinds of ways to spice up your soloing. And I'll send you an ebook that contains a, a crazy amount of scale diagrams, so more soloing strategies, more lessons. It's great stuff. And I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link. Thank you so much for watching over the years we've been doing this. So appreciated. Hey, keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock.